So the last video I released compared mechanics between every rank, and I intentionally picked one of the GCs who I knew had subpar mechanics to show that you don't need Justin level mechanics to be good. Now, most of you understood this, but there was a few that didn't. So I decided to reply to these comments, and along with the GC, set up 1v1s for the comment section trash talkers who thought they could beat him. So our three comment section players are Woke Chopper, Malachi, and Cookie and they all seem pretty confident they could get close to or even beat our GC, Canadian. Now even though their comment section trash talk is a little toxic, please don't give it back to them, they were all really chill dudes. Additionally, we are closing in on 100k and my birthday is in just over a week, so if we could snag triple figures by then it would be absolutely amazing. So be sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content. Anyway, let's dive into the first matchup of the video, Woke Chopper vs Canadian. First of all, I wanted to say that this video is inspired by Sunless's toxic YouTube commenters video. It is absolutely amazing, so definitely go check it out if you haven't already. So Canadian on the offense here, gonna boom it downfield and sneak it past Chopper. So it's gonna roll up the back wall. Chopper's forced with a clear, but he gets a piece of it and it's not enough and Canadian will be able to slam that one home for the first goal 45 seconds in. Feels good, it really does. Even though I know I should be eating, eating these guys, it feels good. So Canadian pretty happy with himself there, and he will be even more so after that, as he puts the second goal in. Going for a slow dribble here. Chopper's there for the 50, and it's a race to the boost. Canadian wins. Chopper's boost starve and allows Canadian to put in a third goal. Canadian, very good start. Going to try and push it towards the far post, but Chopper's there. Now Chop with the slow dribble. Gets a good 50 on Canadian. He's gone for the boost. He might have been able to sneak it in there. Never mind though, it's up in the air. He's going up for it. A Canadian there to save it yet again. And Chopper with a nice flick this time. Has an open net to work with. And oh, he's missed it off the post. Chopper is staying grounded. Canadian with the shot. Perfect placement there. No mechanics needed. Now chop by this time he gets the flick over Canadian again. Hopefully he can convert. He's taking his time. And he does. He got the first goal of the game. Canadian with a slow dribble. Gonna pop it up in the air and sneaks it above Chopper. Gets the dunk on him as well. Canadian in the corner. Chopper's pushing. He wants goals. Unfortunately, he might have overcommitted there, and I think he will. Canadian should be able to convert that, and he does to get a five-goal lead. <laughs> and they both faked each other out. Choppers gets the touch. Might be. <laughs> uh, he didn't have a choice there, really. He's not terrible either. It's just he's very predictable for the most part. Every time he's gonna go flick it, he always flicks it. He doesn't like wait or anything. That looks like it'll be the first game to Canadian. A respectable effort from Chopper, but a pretty sound defeat as he gets Brazil. So in game number two, we have Cookie versus Canadian, and Cookie is a plat three who says he could get close to, if not beat Canadian, so we'll see how that pans out. Canadian looking to open scoring early here, and he sneaks it past Cookie. All it took was eight seconds to get the lead. And Cookie's not too happy with himself there. And I don't think he'll be after that, as he just passed the ball straight to Canadian. Six seconds after the first, he puts in a second. Cookie a little bit awkward here. Passes Canadian the ball, but he might be able to get back to it. He nearly gets faked out, but it's off target. Cookie going for the aerial play. He's lost complete control of it, overcommits, and pretty much just gives Canadian a freebie in an open net. So Cookie mounting an offense of his own here. Canadian's a little bit awkward on the back wall. He passes out mid, and Cookie's waiting, taking his time, but he manages to sneak it in top bin to get his first goal of the game. And he's getting involved with the chats, trying to get inside Canadian's head. But it looks like Canadian might have the last laugh. Gets it past Cookie and puts another goal in. And Canadian hits him right back. It's a bit of verbal chat going on as well as the game. Love to see it. Cookie with a fake kickoff. Didn't work out for him. Canadian's going to pop that one in over him. Starting to get a little bit dangerous here. And Canadian looking for the air dribble bump. Couldn't quite get a decent save there from Cookie, but he didn't see Canadian coming, and he gets absolutely sent 
and a goal scored on him. So despite a decent save there from Pukuki, he just lacked the awareness to realize that Canadian was coming. Just gonna pop it high, beats Cookie to the ball. Cookie needs to get a touch on it, but he's just driven straight past it. And Canadian will pop in the goal to get the Brazil. So Canadian with a slow roll, instead of putting on net, pops it high. Extremely smart play there. He knows Cookie can't get to it. I'll secure him his eighth goal of the game. So Cookie going for an air duel of his own. Gets the ground pinch, but Canadian's there. And Cookie hunting for toes. He sends Canadian out of the game. All he needs to do is put in the open net, but he's missed. On a platter. And Canadian will punish him to get his ninth goal of the game. That hurts for Cookie. Again, the fake kickoff strat not working out for him. Ends up with a Canadian goal a few seconds after. So Cookie's in all sorts here. Cookie again going for the glory play. It's cost him before and it looks like it'll cost him again, but Canadians missed the open net and Cookie didn't look like he was expecting it. Cookie again. The flip reset, he gets it, but doesn't really go anywhere except for giving Canadian an open net. So Canadian, 11-1 up. Canadian popping in front of the net. Cookie's not there and he'll be able to put in a 12th goal. So Cookie's lost that kickoff, admits defeat, just starts driving up the walls. Canadian will put in his 13th goal to win by 12 goals. Absolutely crushing defeat from Cookie and it just goes to show the mechanics are just not everything. So yeah, <gasps> that comment, I'm not usually toxic. So like just because his mechanics weren't good that he wasn't like terrible. Well, I'll, I'm the first to admit to everyone that my like mechanic wise is not my game. My heart dropped when you like commented on mine. I'm like, oh shoot. I'm like, I don't want to back down from a video, but I know I'm going to get my ass handed to me. Yeah, so we have free coaching on our server for people diamond and up. So after two pretty big wins from Canadian, Malachi is the last challenger to try and prove his point. And he might be overcommitting here, he pinches it, but it just goes straight back out towards his goal. The Canadian will run away with that and open the scoring for the third game in a row. So Canadian here waiting for Malachi's touch. He waits for it, but Malachi own goals instead, so it's unfortunate there. And again, Malachi racing back. Gets faked by Canadian, and he put a fourth goal in, a minute and a half in. So Malachi with a possession of his own, goes to the 50, but doesn't turn out favorably, and Canadian will put a fifth goal in. So Canadian looking zippy around the field, turns and goes, booms it on net, Malachi wasn't ready, and that'll be number six. Again with the slow roll here, Malachi isn't back, he'll be able to put in a seventh goal, so it's just... Goal after goal after goal here for Canadian. Beats Malachi to that. Could be an eighth, and I think it will. Starting to run away with this Canadian. 8 0. Malachi misses the ball. Make that nine. He's going for a freestyle. <laughs> uh. well, it's not the worst for beating someone, but. So, in double figures, Canadian at the moment. 15 seconds left, what can he do? Sneaks it past Malachi, and that'll be goal number 11. So with 8 seconds left, Malachi's just going to try and stop the bleeding. Stay back, make the kickoff, but it doesn't work out. And Canadian will snag a 12th goal, and what looks like to be the game. So some absolutely massive wins from Canadian, and he proves his point. So across the three games, Canadian scored a total of 32 goals and only conceded two. So if anyone is still calling him trash, well, I don't even know what to say. Both Malachi and Chopper said they were going into the 1v1 fairly confident and even if they didn't win, they would get pretty close. I definitely understand where they are coming from, but like Malachi said, everyone is their rank for a reason and Canadian definitely proved that today. Again, a huge thanks to the four participants and the three comment section players for putting their dignity on the line and being good sports about it. And again, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed the video, please consider helping us get to 100k. Cheers.